everyone and welcome back to my channel. I spent a lot of money in Poundland. I, d I don't understand. I've got two and a half bags full. I mean, in my defense, I haven't been in Poundland for since maybe October, November. So I deserve to do a bit of a shop. And majority of the stuff that I have bought was because loads of things were running out. So I needed to get them, she tells herself. I don't know if I'm going to have any order. I'm literally just going to pick a bag and then pull out what's in it. I think that will be the best bet. There's literally a mixture of things from cleaning to like storage to beauty, L literally a mixture of everything. So if you want to see what I got from Poundland, keep watching. Also, could you see my breath? That's how cold it is in my house. So the first thing I got is this bowl. Basically, I wanted a bowl that I could put my popcorn in because I like eating popcorn and I like watching telly. So I wanted something that I can put in my popcorn. And I have those like microwave bag ones. You know the ones that come to the bag, you put it in the microwave and then it's done. This is literally the perfect size for it. I filled it up and it literally to the top, it was great. So this, if you're looking for a bowl for popcorn, this is the like, this is a good size for it. I also got two different packets of uh, makeup wipes. So this one is the Deep Cleanse Complete Cleansing Wipes for Oily Combination Skin. And this one is the Sensitive Complete Cleansing Wipes for Sensitive Skin. I don't use these to take off makeup before anyone comes at me, okay? I know we should leave the makeup wipes behind. I'm aware of that. However, when I use my oil cleanser thing to take off my makeup i like having like a wipe or like micellar water to kind of like take it off and then i'll wash my face with whatever is left with a face wash also i like to in the morning i don't like to wash my face i only like to really cleanse my face once a day i feel like it quite dries my skin if i don't if i do do too much so i like using like a makeup wipe just to kind of freshen up my face getting rid of all like the leftover products from the night before so that's why i've got them and these were 50p each i also got some shampoo and conditioner this is the garnier ultra blends the sleek restorer coconut oil and cocoa butter so this soothes and nourishes dry frizzy hair yeah so that's the conditioner version these were two pounds each i don't really like cocoa butter i'm gonna be honest I'm not a big fan of the scent. I haven't tried this one. I've tried a lot of the, like, the Ultimate Blends Garnier ones because they, they don't irritate my scalp and they seem to work nice. So I just thought I'd try a different one. So I bought some anti-aging collagen hydrogel eye patches. There's four pairs in this and I believe the brand is called Number no. 6 at Poundland Do. They have like their own skincare range. I did want to pick up a few more stuff from there but I might just do that in a whole separate video. I bought these because I've been a sad bitch recently and I have been crying a lot. Like every day <laughs> basically. I seem to shed a tear. I don't know what's happened to me apart from I'm, I'm going down in a spiral. This video has gone really dark all of a sudden so I'm going to uh, stop now. <laughs> so yeah that's why I basically wanted to get some eye patches because I felt like I've been putting my eyes through some trauma and I think it's time I gave them some TLC. I got this Power Performance Elbow Grease All Purpose Degreaser. It's good for fabrics, metals and plastic. I'm going to be honest I fall on TikTok cleaning like cleaning TikTok whatever it's called a lot. Some of the products I have bought from here is because I have seen them use it and it did look really shiny and nice. <laughs> This was one of them which I've seen quite a lot so I thought I'll give it a go and I've heard quite a few things say people saying like the elbow grease brand in itself is really good we shall see this is also why I bought this which is the pink stuff the miracle multi-purpose cleaner streak free spike clean clean and tough on grease and grime uh, it says it's suitable for vegans oh my god let me talk about this hold on let me get the other one okay so I went into Poundland before this haul just to like buy like one or two things and I came across this body mist I wouldn't say it's a perfume. Yeah, it's a perfume spray. And it looked exactly like black opium. Like the box and everything. And I was like, ooh, I wonder if it smells like it. And it's only a pound. And it's called Black Dust. Oh my God. It is literally so similar. Like so similar. Even when I sprayed it, Sam was like, I was like, what does it smell like? He was like, it smells like that perfume you wear all the time. And I'm like, oh my God. Now, don't get me wrong. I still like wearing the black opium one. But it's a, it's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. And I can't be using that as an everyday spray. When I found this, I was like, oh my God, now I can smell like what I want to smell all the time, but at a cheaper cost. It is literally a pound. So then I picked up this one, which is called Lily Blush Love Potion. And this smells like another perfume that I can't put my, I'm so shit at scents. It's so good. Like you wouldn't think 
that these are pound, like a pound. You <coughs> should have done that. Oh, I got all spray in my mouth. Because I've been a depressed bitch, I know I shouldn't joke about it, but we have to laugh through the darkness. I needed some things to relax me, basically, and to get me into a better mood. So I bought the Radox Muscle Soak. It's got sage and sea uh, mineral bath soak. Um, I don't actually have anything designated for a bath soak. Like, I, I use body wash as bubbles. <laughs> So I don't actually have any, so that's why I thought I'd buy this. I hear a lot of good things about the Radox. I've never actually used it. So I'm hoping this is going to relax me. And also where I'm like working from home, I'm sitting a lot like this. And that's not good for my back. Like it hurts. Hopefully this will help. So I got the 4-in-1 Fabulosa Disinfectant. This is in Intense. Again, this says that it's for vegans, suitable vegans. This was an aftershave. Or like men's deodorant. I smelled that before. I'm pretty sure that's some sort of men's deodorant. And I quite like that smell. So that's why I picked it up. I mean my house is now just going to smell like a man. But I really liked it. So that's why I picked it up. Next bag from Poundland. Actually let me go to this bag. Because this is the half bag. <laughs> An essential. Don't really know what to talk about it. I thought this was a really good like big size. A mega kitchen towel. I also got a pack of sponges. Why do sponges go so gross so quickly? I don't know if I'm washing up wrong. But... Mine goes so disgusting so early. So yeah, I picked up some of those. I did use this the other day. Uh, Greaseproof paper. Now, I don't know, are you only meant to use greaseproof paper for baking? Because it says baking paper. But I prefer using this. So you know you have like baking trays. I love putting this over the top regardless of what I'm cooking. It could be sausages, it could be cookies, it could be salmon, chips, every, anything. I like putting this over the top because well not over the top over the top of the baking put the food on top yeah because then the mess is so quick because then i don't have to scrub away this pan which usually it's so hard to scrub as well because it goes all gross and disgusting don't have to do that now I literally just pick it up and put it in the bin genius mate so much easier so that's what i use this for so i got two glasses i don't know are these wine glasses or gin glasses i was going to do this as a gin glass I, i'll be honest i got suckered in i was in the queue waiting it was a long queue i was in the kitchen aisle these kept staring at me and i just thought i like gin <laughs> so these will be good to have for and i want to start like sorting out my house again like i completely neglected the house stopped buying stuff for it there's still like my my bedroom is literally like nothing like i know i need to work on it so i wanted to start buying stuff for the house again and i want to start like properly doing my bar so now i got glasses for my bar for if anyone wants gin again i feel like this is a staple it's the 6.5 milliliter pack uh you get eight in these i rely on these for one for my lunches when i eventually do go back into work and two i batch cook a lot because i don't know how to cook for one person i don't know how to do that i will cook a spaghetti bolognese for four people i don't know how to make it for one and this was actually you know when you go in for one item and then you come up with bags full yeah this is what the one item i actually went in for and it is the well it, i just needed drain on blocker so this is the silic black blang silic bang power cleaner odor stop unblockable gel so um, it unblocks tough clogs and works even in standing water i don't actually have any block drains but i feel like it's good to like just do it right to make sure that it doesn't get blocked so yeah so now i want to do like a proper big spring clean of the house just get rid of 2020 get rid of this bad vibes in my head and i thought if i just clean everything it'll be good that's what i'm hoping for anyway okay so the final bag ugh, that i got from poundland so i bought these again i saw them on tiktok and that's why i bought it so these are the home and dry damp traps so you get two in a pack i don't really know how they work but basically i had my inspection not that long ago and she was like oh yeah just so you know like, uh, you've got like some damp upstairs it's nothing like major don't worry about it i'll mention it to the landlord like i can see you're doing everything you have to do like opening the windows and stuff it's just because the property is old and the windows are crap basically and i was like i do and then like i was looking in the like the bathroom and i was like i always thought those marks was literally just the um like the previous tenant like doing a bad paint job until like i like wiped it and i was like oh it wipes away this is damp so i basically thought if i get some of these to put near the window i'm hoping these will help but i don't really know what you're meant to do with them i also got the wind window lean glass and shine uh, surfaces this is diamond shine streak free and added vinegar i would usually just buy white wine vinegar no 
It's just, is it called? No, it's not white wine vinegar, it's just white vinegar, right? I don't know, but you know what I'm on about. They don't have any in Poundland, and there was quite a few things that I wanted to get that they wasn't in Poundland. Like, I want some of that, like, you know, the, like, bubbly stuff that people have been putting in their toilet, and it, like, foams up. I want some of that. But they don't have that in Poundland, so I expect a B&M haul soon as well. A very boring thing. Um, active, fresh, um, six powers, tropical blossom for the toilet. As a water bottle. One, I need to drink more water. I realise when I'm at home, I forget to drink, basically. When I'm at work, though, I drink hell a lot. Now that my computer is on my coffee table, I don't have a table in the living room, and I keep spilling my glasses on the floor because I forget they're there, and then it just knocks over. So I thought if I got a cup with a lid and a little sippy bit, it will, um, one, stop the, stop the spilling, and two, stop the, uh, me not drinking. It says here that it's called Drink Fresh, it's non-toxic plastic, it's freezer safe, it has a carry handle, sleep proof, and it's 700 millilitres. What else did I get from Poundland? Okay, I also got this Lenore Exotic Bloom, um, it says it's 30 washes. This smelled really nice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like perfume, it smells really nice. <laughs> So yeah, I bought that. I also got these Raise Me Up Ramekin dishes. These are a free pack and they're in grey. I just wanted little dishes like this, especially because I wanted to bake certain things and make little like cheesecakes and cute things like that. And so I have actually been looking for something like this for a long time. And then I saw that they finally had some in stock and I was like, oh my God, this is brilliant. So yeah. Okay, so the last two things I got from Poundland is, this is the Ace for Whites. I've never used anything like this to whiten clothes. Like I just let my whites go dull and gray. I don't know why it does, but yeah, I'm a shit person. So yeah, so I thought I'd try these, the Ace for Whites laundry bleach. Anyone know if this is good? If it's not, do you know anything that is good for your whites? And finally, I also got this Sif um, cream with micro crystals, removes tuster, tuss, tuss, tuff dirt for a shine clean. And this is in the scent, I guess, original. Again, I was suckered into the cleaning, saw people go like this, like this. And I wanted to be part of that. So that is everything that I got from Poundland. I think I've, I've got the Poundland out of my system now. Like, do you ever get, like, some of those cravings? Cravings? Like, where you need to, like, go and shop because you're getting withdrawal symptoms? I was getting that from Poundland. So I think I've got it out of my system for the next few months. <laughs> Let's hope, anyway. But if there's anything that you've noticed in Poundland that you think is, like, oh my god, that's so good, you should definitely get it before it goes out of stock, or anything like that that you really recommend from there, do let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I shall see you next time.